today I'm going to show you how to make a Rubik's Cube still life. So I have one that looks like this, like it's on a shelf. And I have another one like this that looks like it's laying on the floor. So the first thing we need to do is set up our Rubik's Cube. So we need to, and we're doing this in two point perspective. So we have to start out with our horizon line. So your paper, what I want you to do is turn your paper so that it's now vertical. <clears throat> what I want you to do is line your ruler up towards the top and you see how the zero is in a little bit with the ruler. So what you need to do is line your paper up, the zero to the edge of your paper. And you'll see that your paper is about 12 inches wide. What I want you to do is make a little tick mark at the five inch. And then slide your, paper, your ruler down to the bottom. To the bottom. And again, again, the row to inch of your paper and make a mark at the five inch again. And then what I'm going to do is take my ruler, line it up between my two tick marks, and I'm going to draw a line that goes all the way from the top, all the way to the bottom of my paper. So it's spanning the entire paper. I'm going to turn my paper now so that the bigger half is at the top and the smaller half is on the bottom. Now what I need to do is put in my vanishing points. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to go all the way from the left side and then on the right side and on the left side I'm going to be putting out my two vanishing points. Okay, so I have my horizon line vanishing point, vanishing point. And we need two vanishing points because we're drawing in two point perspective. So now what I'm going to do is decide where on my paper do I want my Rubik's Cube to go. So I've decided I'm going to have my Rubik's Cube somewhere in this side of the paper. So what I'm going to do now is line up my ruler again to the edge of the paper to the zero and I look straight across and I'll see that my paper is about 14 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put mine around the corner of my Rubik's Cube is going to go around 8 inches here. What we're doing is we're putting in this, this part right here of our Rubik's Cube. Okay, the corner. And now I'm going to slide my ruler down to the bottom and I'm doing the same thing eight inches. So whatever I put at the top, I'm putting now at the bottom of my paper. And I'm going to do the same thing again where I take my ruler, line it up between my two tick marks, and I'm going to draw a line going down like this. So I have now my horizon line with my two vanishing points, and then, and then I also have now the corner of my Rubik's Cube put in. Okay, so we need to put in the height of our Rubik's Cube, okay? So our Rubik's Cube is going to be uh, six inches. So I'm now I'm going to turn my paper again so that now my horizon line is now vertical. And I have the smaller half of my paper to the left and the bigger part of my paper is to the right. And I'm going to put my ruler along this line right here. I'm going to line it up zero to the edge of my paper. And I'm going to make a mark at the two and then again at the eight. This is going to be how tall my Rubik's Cube is going to be. So I'm going to turn my paper again now and I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase everything from this point up. And this just makes it a little easier for us to see things. And I'm going to erase from this point down. And again, this is going to help me see everything a little bit better. Okay. 
Okay, now make this a little bit darker, see if that helps. Okay. Okay, so now what I need to do is draw the this part, this part, this part, and this part. Okay, so I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to line it up with the vanishing point and the bottom part of my Rubik's Cube. And I'm going to draw a line. I'm doing the same thing at the top, top of my Rubik's Cube to the vanishing point. And I'm doing that on all sides, top, vanishing point, bottom to vanishing point, and I get this diamond or kite shape. All right, so now what I need to do is put in these lines. Okay, so it'll be the edge of our squares and then also the edge of our Rubik's Cube. So I'm going to do it this way. It makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to take this line right here. I'm going to line up my edge of my ruler to that center line, and I'm going to just put a mark like this. This line and this line will be parallel then. Then what I'm going to do is take my ruler again. I'm going to line up this edge or this line to this edge of the ruler. But now I'm going to just put my ruler in just a little bit to the left. And I'm going to draw a line like this. So now this line is a little bit closer than this. This space is a little wider than this space. And then my next space is going to be a little bit more narrow than this space. Because as we go back into space, the lines get closer together. So again, I'm going to take my ruler like this, line it up so that I know it's parallel. And I'm going to slide it in even more. And go like this. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Line it up so it's parallel. I'm going to draw a line like this. Slide it over. And again, not as far, so that as it goes back in space, they get a little bit closer together. Okay, now I can erase this line and this line, and this is going to help make the cube pop out a little bit more for us. And again, on this side, I'm keeping my horizon line in though. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to turn my paper again one more time and I'm going to line my ruler up from the top in my Rubik's Cube like this, my Rubik's Cube. And I see that it's six inches. I'm going to make a mark at the two and the four. And what we're going to do is put in all these little squares now. I'm going to take my tick mark, line it up to my Rubik's Cube, or my vanishing point down here. Can you see, can you see? My vanishing, vanishing point here. So tick mark to vanishing point, and I'm going to draw a line. Now, I'm just going to stop to the edge of my Rubik's Cube here. I'm not going to keep going. That way then I don't have to do as much erasing. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Tick mark to vanishing point, draw a line, and it's going to be at an angle. If you draw it straight across, it's not going to look right. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm lining up my ruler to the vanishing point, to my tick mark, and same thing on this side, vanishing point to tick mark, and there we go. And now I have my cube. So I'm going to now erase my horizon line in here so that my cube now stands out. Okay, so 
Um, I noticed that this side looks a little kind of, this little funky here. So I think I'm going to bump this in a little bit more. So I'm going to move these lines in just a tiny bit. And then that way then it's not so long on that one side. So I'm just going to bump these in a little bit more. So it looks a little bit more square. Okay. All right, that looks better. Okay, now what we need to do is decide, are you going to put this on a floor or is this going to go on a shelf? So this one I have on a floor, this one I have on a shelf. So let's do a floor. So what I'm going to do then, I want to have more space here on the floor so that I can draw items on here. So I want less wall space and more floor space. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is draw, I have my, my horizon line in here. I'm going to put this in a little bit more so that I can actually see it a little better. And what I'm going to do is put the floorboard in. So I'm going to move my ruler up just a little bit, kind of eyeball it. And I'm going to go like this and like this. And now I have an, whoops, I didn't go straight, too, too much. Okay, and now I have like my, my um, the floorboards in, okay? And then what I can do here is draw all my items in here. So you need to draw two other items to go in with your Rubik's Cube on the floor. So the other thing you need to do is have two things overlapping each other and something else hanging off the paper. So if you look my, at my example here, you'll see that I have a teddy bear drawn in front of my Rubik's Cube, okay? And then I also have the baseball here, but I have it hanging off the paper. I also drew the teddy bear so it looks like it's hanging off the paper. So you need to draw two other things on here one thing needs to overlap something, and one thing needs to hang off the paper. You could have the Rubik's Cube just like this, and you could have your two things overlapping over here and having something hang off the paper. You can do it that way as well. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. If you want to do a shelf, let me erase this line here. What you're going to do then is turn your paper like this. Okay, and this is going to be the back of the wall here, and this part down here will be your shelf. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going to line it up to my horizon line. I'm going to slide it out this way a little bit more. So it's parallel, and I'm going to draw, my ruler just moved on me. I'm going to draw a line. This is the bottom of the shelf. I'm going to put another line in like this. And this will be the edge of the shelf. So this is the bottom of the shelf and this is the edge of the shelf. This is the back of the shelf. Like this. Okay. Like you did the, just like the floor one then you have to decide then two other objects you're going to put on here something has to be hanging off the paper and something else needs to be overlapping this whole thing is going to be outlined with sharpie marker you're, you're going in your ox with marker everything else is going to be used with crayon crayon so you outlined it all in sharpie the x will be done in marker background with crayon.